Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to the weekly Outside Views report on American politics. And today, we do need to talk about Canada. Thousands of firefighters are on duty to put out the fires, especially in Western Canada. And now other countries should help to get the fires under control. Because Canada has launched an international appeal for help as the wildfires continue to spread. The situation in Alberta remains very worrying and dangerous, was said by Public Safety Secretary Bill Blair, and he said that in Ottawa on Wednesday. Another challenge is that there are now significant fires in Saskatchewan, in British Columbia, and the Northwest Territories, and therefore Canada is now addressing other countries, the USA, Mexico, Australia, and New Zealand, and asking them for help. Wildfires that have raged in Alberta since early May have already burned more than half a million hectares of forest and grassland. Numerous residential buildings and businesses were also destroyed. Around 2,500 firefighters from across the country and 400 soldiers battled the blazes in the province, 27 of whom are currently out of control. In the westernmost province of British Columbia, there were 60 fires on Wednesday, 15 of which were believed to be uncontrolled. Thousands of people have been evacuated from the fires in the Northwest Territories area. There is no doubt that the summer will be difficult and that we will need help. That was said by José Sendonge, spokeswoman for Alberta's emergency service. Given the numbers of fires, it will take months to deal with them, unless a significant change in weather brings a lot of moisture. It will be a long fight. The month of April was very dry in Western Canada, followed by record temperatures and strong winds since the beginning of May. For several years, Western Canada has repeatedly been hit by extreme weather events, which, according to experts, are increasing in intensity and frequency as a result of climate change. About two weeks after the first fires broke out in Western Canada, the fire brigades had still not been able to bring the flames under control. The Alberta Wildfire Protection Agency registered 89 wildfires on Thursday, uh, 23 of which were classified as out of control at that moment. More than 19,000 people are currently still evacuated, and there is no relief in sight for the near future either. The situation is extremely unstable, as uh, Colin Blair, the director of the Alberta Civil Protection Authority, said. In the meantime, around 521,000 hectares of land have burned down in more than 450 fires in the province of Alberta this year. The area that has been burned so far corresponds to about a third of the size of the German state of Schleswig-Holstein. Alberta Wildfire Information Officer José saint Ange said, We expect conditions to continue to be difficult and will continue to be so for the next few days as the heat and drought persist and the chance of rain is slim. The risk of fire was again classified as extreme on Sunday and the peak of the danger is still to come. Just over a week ago, the province of Alberta declared a state of emergency given the extent of the fire. And this will allow federal funds to be released to fight the blazes. As I said, about 2,500 firefighters are currently battling the various fires and another 800 people from other agencies are helping, including 200 firefighters from the United States and 300 members of the Canadian Armed Forces, although I think it's 400. In 2016, Alberta had already experienced huge fires. At the time, more than 2,400 buildings were destroyed. And in view of climate change, experts warn that the frequency and intensity of forest fires will increase. In the prairie provinces in the west of the country, the average temperature has risen by 1.9 degrees Celsius since the mid-20th century, according to the Agency for Environment and Climate Change in Canada. And I keep my fingers crossed that they get everything under control soon. I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.